In the previous video, we configured Configuration Manager, we installed it. And now in this video, we are going to look at some post installation tasks for our Configuration Manager. Hello, IT pros, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, TechNex Solutions. And if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon as well to get all the latest updates from this channel. Let's get started. So in the post installation, we are going to configure our Configuration Manager so that it can import users, import devices, and we will configure boundary, boundary groups as well. So let's have a look at that, how we can do it. All right, so I have logged on to TechNex CM01, which is our configuration manager server. Let's open our configuration manager console. All right, so before we make any changes, what I will do, I will give you a quick rundown of the configuration manager console. So on the left hand side on the bottom, you can see a workspace. So where you can see assets and compliance, software library, monitoring, administration, and community and here on the left hand side at the top so where you can see overview so these are the nodes so these are different nodes some of the nodes they act as a folders for example asset intelligence we can extend that and on the right hand side here assets and compliance where you see navigation index that's what you call navigation index apart from that at the top here this is a ribbon at the top this is a ribbon when you select something for example let's select the device and you will see like in ribbon you have more options so here you go you have more options in the ribbon apart from that here is a details pane when you select an object here for example i select uh, technex dash cm01 at the bottom you can see in the details pane we have more information about the selected object we have a name all these details here and at the bottom also we can change over to different options okay so this is just a quick overview for you so now you can go through all these different options i would highly recommend you to go ahead and browse to the different options all right so before we start with anything there is something that you should configure to use configuration manager properly so the configuration which we do is under administration so in workspaces we will change over to administration and here in the updates you can see that if you click on that any updates you will find here you can click on check for updates it will go ahead and find any updates if it is available for your system so the main configuration which we are going to do is under hierarchy configuration discovery methods so this is very important and this is what we are going to configure and after that we will look at boundaries boundary groups as well in discovery methods you can see that we have heartbeat discovery enabled by default and we will enable active directory first discovery just uh, to enable that right click on it and go to properties so in properties enable active directory forest discovery so we have an option here to tick these two boxes as well where it will go ahead and create site boundaries but we will have a look how we can create site boundaries manually so we don't have to tick these boxes and schedule also we can select it here we can configure that schedule as well so i will enable that one so active directory forest discovery is going to use the computer account and computer account has full permissions on system management container which we created during our prerequisites video so click apply on that one say yes to it click ok so for group discovery system discovery and user discovery for these three discoveries we need to create a dedicated account so that account will have read permissions on the active directory so we do not need domain administrator or anything like that we have we will create a new account and that account will be just a domain user and specifically for this purpose so what we are going to do so let's log on to our domain controller and quickly we will create this account so our domain controller is here which is dc01 and open active directory so in active directory i'm going to create a new user in administrative users ou so right click here new user and i will name it cm and the last name is addis active directory discovery and username cm underscore addis as well click next on that one provide the password uncheck user must change password and check on user cannot change password and password never expires check that as well and click on next and finish 
Okay, so this account is ready. Let's go back to our configuration manager. So here in group discovery, right click on that, go to properties and enable this one. Here we can add, either we can add groups individually or we can add a location. So we will add a location and uh, the location is Technex groups. So this is where we are going to browse here. So click on browse and uh, we can select our organizational unit, Technex groups. Either you can select at the top, it will include all groups or you can in individualize, select one OU and it will import all the groups within that organizational unit. Okay, so click okay on that one and uh, specify account, set. So we will add a new account, click on that, browse, so we will enter cm underscore addis. So I click on check names. This account is here. Provide password. Enter the password twice. And uh, click on verify. Test connection. You can see that the connection was successfully verified. Click OK. Click OK here as well. Click OK and hit apply. So do you want to run full discovery? Yep, that's fine. Click yes on that one. Click OK. All right, so once we finish here, let's go back to our assets and compliance. So here we can see that our group, one of our groups is imported here. So which is CM SQL Server Admins. So similar thing we are going to do for our system discovery. So system discovery will look for computer objects and it will import all the computer objects. So right click, go to properties. So enable that and here we will click on that and we will browse to the path. So I will browse at the top of the domain. It will import all the computer objects. So discover objects within groups as well. Tick that as well. So if you want to filter, you can exclude from discovery. So you can add here um, and specify account, select. So we will set existing account, which we have just added, which is cm underscore addis. Click OK. Click OK on that apply run full discovery as soon as possible yes on that one click ok so now for user discovery we will repeat the same step we will right click and go to properties and here we will enable click here and then browse we will browse at the top and uh, discover objects within groups as well and specify account set existing account and we will choose the account which we have added so click ok click ok here hit apply and this will run full discovery as soon as possible. Say yes to that, click OK on that one. So now if we go back to assets and compliance, we should see some computer objects as well. So nothing is here. So let's go back to administration and we can run full discovery here. Say yes to that. Or we can individually run system discovery as well. Run full discovery, yes, and user discovery as well. All right, so we can also look at the logs. For logs, go to this PC and go to the drive where you have installed Configuration Manager. So we have installed on cm underscore install and we will go to Program Files, Microsoft Configuration Manager and we will go to the logs directory. So here we have logs, all the logs, but the logs which we are currently interested, they are discovery logs. So we will look for AD and then we can see that ad user discovery here the system discovery user discovery we can open that log and make sure you view this log from cm trace so finished process here you can see that time as well so it just happened like a minute ago 4 14 22 yep so this happened like a minute ago and then if we click on assets and compliance you can see that all our computer objects are user objects here and also computer objects would be listed here so pc01 cm01 and dc01 okay so we are pretty good here with the discovery methods and now let's move on to the boundaries so with boundaries we will create a new boundary so in this space right click and click on create new boundary we are going to create a boundary on the basis of active directory site so type will be active directory site and our site is um, technex i'll just call it main site and um, active directory site name click on browse 
So this will come up with the name, which would be a default name. So it is loading. So there you go, it says default first site name. So we can change that name as well. So let's quickly change that name. We will log on to domain controller and then click on tools in the server manager. And uh, here we will select active directory sites and services. So we will select that and uh, let it open. So here extend sites and uh, this is the first site which is default first site right click rename so we will rename it to technex dash main dash site and hit enter so this is saved we can close that let's go back to configuration manager cancel that browse again so you will see that it will refresh the name there you go so technex main site click ok and click on apply so if we select on boundary groups there's nothing here we even if we click on add there's none available because we are going to create a boundary group right now so just click ok for now so group count here it is zero and let's move on to boundary groups click on that one so by default there is one there so we are going to create a different one so name it technex boundary group and here we can add so boundaries we will click on add and then we can add our active directory boundary which is technex main site and in the description you can see main site as well so click ok on that and hit apply and um, in references we are going to update as well so use this boundary group for site assignment tick that box and also here site system servers so we are going to add a server as well so site server which we are currently on which is cm01 tick that box click ok and hit apply and click ok here so you can see that member count one site system count one as well and in boundaries we have group count one that's all for this video thank you for watching this video if you find it informative give it a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon as well to get all the latest updates from this channel. If you have any questions regarding this video, leave it in the comments box below. I'm more than happy to help you. And uh, I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, you can check out the YouTube video series, the whole playlist that I have done for 1802, current branch 1802. So you might find some videos helpful in that video series. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one in the meantime. Take care.